Hey dudes and dudettes, this list won't be anything groundbreaking or unique, but I did want to highlight a thought I had, and that is, was the Neo Geo the best retro console? I realize that's a highly subjective question, but even so, let's go ahead and look at my top five games, and then discuss whether or not the Neo Geo was king of the early consoles. So coming in at number five is Shock Troopers. This is a great top-down view shooter and has multiple branching paths after you beat a level, which really adds to the replay aspect of the game. You can also switch between players in games so you don't have to go out to a menu each time you start a game. There's a great weapon selection and it's just simple arcade action style fun. You can't go wrong with Shock Troopers. There's a sequel as well, but I prefer the original for the level design and nostalgia. Number four is Top Hunter. This game isn't anything earth shattering, but it's the right combination of gameplay, variety, catchy music, and execution that gets it on this list. As you can see, it's basically a side scroller, but it adds the ability to use small mechs. You can go back and forth between the foreground and background, and sometimes you have to switch at the right time to avoid obstacles. It's one of the best implementations of that mechanic in a game. It also has a nice arcade feel to it without being arcade difficult. I realize Neo Geo games were made simultaneously for consoles and arcade, but this one doesn't seem obsessed with punishing you, so you'll keep feeding the cabinet more quarters. It's also nice the developers included a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. Overall, it's just upbeat and doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a great game if you're looking to take a mental health break. Number three is Garu, Mark of the Wolves. In reality, this should be at the top of the list. I'm just not that much into fighting games. I think it's because you really have to invest a lot of time learning complicated combos and practicing like crazy to defeat your opponent in most fighting games. That can be incredibly rewarding and make for lots of replayability, but it can also be off-putting to casual gamers who just want to play a fighting game for a few rounds. Fortunately, Garu is very friendly to new players with its basic moveset anyone can use. Certainly you can make things more complex with combos, but it doesn't insult newcomers. The game also has a system where you can have supercharged attacks for a third of your health, either at the beginning, middle, or end of your health bar. Depending on your playstyle, you can be more aggressive up front, or wait to be defensive and save it for your starting point if you're starting to get crushed. The graphics were beyond their time when it was released, and the animation is silky smooth. It's simply one of the best and most balanced fighting games of all time, and that's why it's on my list. Number two is Blazing Star. Usually when it comes to shmups or shoot 'em ups I think they are all pretty much the same with only slight variations. What sets Blazing Star ahead of the pack is its semi-3D graphic style, better than most soundtracks, and a difficulty that's just right. Generally, shmup games are the most punishing for difficulty in games, like it's some bragging right to get through the confetti bomb of oncoming enemy fire. There's a reason people call them bullet hell games, but Blazing Star wants you to have a good time, and to me, that makes it much more approachable and replayable than other shmups which I wholeheartedly welcome. Finally, at number one, we have Metal Slug, the OG. Yeah, I know a lot of you out there prefer Metal Slug 2 or 3 or X, but for me, I just love the levels, character, and heavy nostalgia the original brings. The developers really focused on making this game ridiculously fun, with lots of humor, only a little complexity when it comes to deciding to rescue someone, or rush for a power-up, or dodge oncoming fire. This is one of those games I'll always come back to because it's so easy to pick up and play, and then keep playing. If you haven't played this one yet, it's a great starting off point for the Neo Geo. So now that you know my favorites, does that mean I think the Neo Geo is the best retro console? I'd actually have to say no, it's not my favorite. While the graphics are the best of the consoles when compared to Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, and obviously Atari, there's an Achilles heel to the system. Not only was it prohibitively expensive back in the day, it also didn't have stellar racing games. Most of them were bird's eye view racers. It also had no traditional RPGs or strategy games, which makes sense as the console was basically a home version of the arcade. Sega and Nintendo had the Neo Geo beat in those regards. Having said that, the Neo Geo will always hold a special place in my heart, and I'd argue that some of the games on the Neo Geo are at the top of the list when compared to other consoles. It's just missing the variety that some of the other consoles bring to the table. The great thing now is that you can play these once expensive games on the cheap. I have these top 5 games on my Nintendo Switch and none of them cost over $8. And with that, thanks for watching these awesome games and please leave a comment letting me know your favorite Neo Geo games or favorite consoles. Mmm, that was some seriously good nostalgia. But remember friends, it's also important to make new memories with your loved ones. Do, 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 do.